me most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim. <laughs> What's also annoying is when they, you know, when they kill us. What is fragile about whiteness? It's really just a bunch of white lies. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know white people. They don't talk like that. Are you that fat? from Empire, they would never say that. It sounds like something that I would say. <laughs> 7,000 black people killed every year. Less than 2% are killed uh, by police officers in an unarmed way. So why don't we talk about the 98%? The things that I said today that are actually harming black America. Number one, father absence. Number two, the education system and the illiteracy rate. White supremacy and white nationalism, if I had to make a list again of 100 things, would not be on it. The playing the victim card gets old, ladies and gentlemen. Old. When black people in Africa enslaved us to start with and sold us to America knowing that we would go off and probably be treated poorly. They sold us all over the world. This is not okay. It's just not. Imagine, imagine getting mad about this. Like, um, it, it's such a hilarious cope by the people behind this film uh, that I, I've known about it for over a week now. And I was just like, ah, I'm not even going to cover it. It's obvious bait. It's dumb. But then something actually interesting happened. And it filled me with hope. And I'm going to explain exactly why that is. Because it's hilarious to me. So there is a new documentary. Uh, and when we take a look at who the people are behind it, <laughs> it's hilarious it's it's a transparent race grift that um, I don't know who who is for, and I'm gonna prove to you why you should be happy today, why you should laugh, and you know these people should not, you know, you shouldn't get mad. We should be pointing and laughing at these idiots, and that's exactly what we're gonna do together. Everything's gonna be all white. Amanda Seals says documentary righteously challenges white fragility. Now, their idea of white fragility is saying something disparaging about somebody who's white, and then when they react negatively to it, call them fragile. Now, if you were to say something negatively about, say, a black person and say when and, and say that it's related to their skin color and they got mad, you don't get to call them fragile. It's okay when you say it about white people, though. Uh, it's it's hilarious that these walking double standards and quite frankly, racists keep getting propped up. They keep getting paid, but the public is turning in Showtime's three part docuseries, three parts. <laughs> it isn't even worth watching for the memes. When you see the type of people is Linda Sarsour doing this at look what she said about certain races of people, certain groups of people is Ibram Kendi there. <laughs> the race grifter extraordinaire. Oh, there's is Jamel Hill there. All these people who profit their entire brand is pretending to be victims while cashing in money for it. You know, it's their whole grift. I'm not going to say that white people can't do better as a group, but I don't group everyone together by their skin color. That would be racist. Okay. Okay. Everybody is an individual, and individuals have problems that they could work on. It has absolutely nothing to do with their skin color. You see here, uh, comedian Amanda Seals wastes no time. I think what annoys me about white people, she could be saying in their trailer, is that when they pretend that they're the victim, and then they show a clip of, I think, that one stupid Karen that called the police on, like, some black kids for selling water or having a grill out or something stupid. Like... That is a stupid woman, not a stupid white woman. I, I just don't understand why why these people, I'm talking about like woke idiots, 
They come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. They continue to get money and funding. Why? It's because their sole job to divide people. What I want is to everyone to come together and laugh because the hypocrisy of it, as you saw the intro uh, that the that the uh, that Sean did, it's a little spicy, um, but it's it's like, how would you like it, right? How do you like it when the fingers in your face? All right, take care of your own. I don't say, oh, there. When I see uh, a crime committed by uh, somebody who is. Asian, I don't say, oh, all Asians, man. I are you tell are you are you kidding me? Now we make jokes about driving or or being good at math or something like that. Uh, but like that's different. The docuseries from director and executive executive producer don't care. Um, premieres with Margaret Cho, Jamel Hill, Ibram Kendi. <laughs> By the way, if you want to know all you need to know about this clown Ibram Kendi, um, look into what he's how he's got his fingers and everything from Marvel to getting paid five hundred and forty one dollars a minute to do a quote racial equity lecture. I don't know what that is, but sign me up. He got paid thirty two thousand five hundred dollars to give a speech to a whopping eight hundred people. And most of those 800 people, I can almost guarantee you, were assigned to be there by whatever gender studies classes that they were in at their university. And you can see here, the Young Americans Foundation, a conservative youth group that brings speakers to colleges, campuses through its own funding, told the Daily Wire that it's not familiar with UVA bringing conservative speakers and paying them or promoting the events. The university notably refused to officially recognize U U Young America Foundation's campus chapter in 2017 before changing course on the heel of a letter from a legal group, Alliance Defending Freedom, alleging violations of state and law first amendment. Amendment. It's shameful that a public university would spend tens of thousands of dollars for such a racist figure to speak to their students. And you can look into, you know, Kendi and all the things that he said about white folks. And again, it's ridiculous. People make mistakes. Individuals make. There are racist people. Uh, of and by the way, <laughs> I don't subscribe to this. Only white people can be racist nonsense. Okay, it's nonsense inside the. Inside the actual, inside the black community itself, colorism is an issue where they look down on people based on their light skin tone. It's used as an insult, okay? Like, every group of people can be awful, all right? And 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 you want to look into some, some of the, uh, look at uh, what some of these prominent uh, black folks like, uh, what's his name? Farrakhan. How about Nick Cannon, who still has his TV job? What they say about Jewish people, okay? So let's not even do that, all right? But here's the here's the white pill. Here's the good news, okay? This trailer, and this is before I did this video, okay? So I've seen a few people cover it, but it, yes, it's has a hilarious ratio, okay? I think at the time I took the screenshot, thirty six thousand dislikes, okay? 2.2 million views. So they're paying. It's so pathetic. Okay. They are paying huge money to embed this video and to advertise this video. That's what they do. They pay a bunch of money. It gets embedded. That's why the total likes and dislikes aren't normal. Like normally, by the way, if you like this video, leave a like on it. And I bet you'll end up being around 10 to 15% of the total views. By the way, if you're watching this video, and the subscribe button is red below you still, please do consider clicking it. It's the only way you'll find my videos. Let me give you the good news here. Out of 2.275 million views, do you know who? how many people liked the video? 1,400. 1,400 people watched out of 2.275 million people saw this video and said, hey, this is something I want. This is something I like. 1,000 people. This isn't for regular people. And when I say regular people, I mean people of all skin colors, of all backgrounds, of all, you know, ethnicities, religions. 
This isn't for you. This is for woke racists. And I'm talking about these people that genuinely have something against uh, white people. Many of them are also white, by the way, which is hilarious. You know, you know, everyone knows this. Like, I guess I, I live in the Midwest, so I've never heard anyone talk like this, like in real life, except one time a woman freaked out at the local pub uh, who was uh, Middle Eastern and she tried to, she literally made up. There was like three people in the bar and she came in there and she was like filming and try, she tried to say that um, people called her a Terry uh, when it never happened. Like no one... It, and then her her family came and picked her up and came into the bar and apologized and said that she was trying to go around and do this stuff and that they were really sorry. It was hilarious. But that that was like the only time in my life that I've ever seen anyone like have this weird rhetoric. This is for elites, right? This is for other people in Hollywood who sit around and rip them into, into champagne glasses and sniff it. Okay, that's who this is. This is for like those rich, uber rich liberals that are always like, man, white people, am I right? <laughs> As they say to another person that's probably also equally rich. Now, there's legitimate jokes you can make about white people that are hilarious. I think Dave Chappelle is one of the best, but this is meant. This has this video has this docu series has really nothing interesting to say, so it's relying exclusively on outrage for press. Look at the comments. If I'm responsible for what my ancestors did, by the way, you're not. I'm also able to take credit for the wonders that they created. Thank you, Showtime. I've never been more proud to be a white man. The fact that everyone here has agreed that this is racist and antagonistic, antagonistic made by people who have a blatant disdain for an entire race of people makes me have more faith in humanity. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud of Americans everywhere to so see what this truly is. Don't let Hollywood divide us. Dude, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. As a black man, this is frankly embarrassing. I have friends from all races and religious backgrounds. The creators of this can't seriously think that it's okay to talk about other human beings this way. No one should ever have to take the blame for something they didn't do. I love how some of these comments have more likes than the actual video. We don't need a dislike button to show the, the community how we feel. Understand this, the people in this documentary make their money from the race grift. Many of them, Jamal Hill, Ibram Kendi, it is in their best financial interest to keep racism alive while most of us are simply trying to move past it. I don't think there's anything wrong with understanding the past, especially when we want to avoid making those mistakes in the future. But I think ultimately this documentary is set merely to create division and anger because that's how they make money. Ignore it, mock it, laugh at it, and carry on having a wonderful day.